Hello, and welcome to day 21 of the 31 Days of Horror. My name is Hyena73, and this stream, like every other stream, is made to raise awareness for multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis is a disease of the central nervous system that affects 23,700 Australians every year. Um, 11,400, not every year, sorry, as of the last census. So altogether, 20, 23,700 Australians. <coughs> so 11,400 of these um, Australians who have MS have a profound case of it, which means that they are um, limited in the type of work they do and also limited in, uh, like, it affects their day-to-day -day lives. Due to the nature of the disease, um, there's uh, a whole bunch of different um, symptoms that um, can, can occur. For instance, some people get um, extreme fatigue, others get constant pain, some get um, re reduced motor functions, and some get um, uh, blindness. It's a horrible disease, um, and uh, normally because of the, uh, the sim because the symptoms are outwardly not visible <coughs> most of the time, people don't really realize when someone's got MS, or they think that they're fine and, and it's not that bad to, to deal with, but it's, it's the complete opposite. It's a horrible disease, and um, it's a, it sucks to have. MS Australia is an organization in Australia that actually deals with MS and provides services and, um, and information in regards to MS. <coughs> they also help fund uh, research to better diagnose, or prevent, or even um, uh, deal with uh, MS, like treat it. But uh, they need more help and they need more, um, uh, more attention. So. The point of these uh, streams is to get people to have a look and go to msaustralia.org.au to check it out and donate there if you want. Don't give me any money. Um, I, like, I, I don't want you giving me any money. Just give it straight to a MS Australia if you want. <coughs> these videos are monetized, so whatever profits I make from these videos, I'll go, will go straight to them. <coughs> um, that's it. So without further ado, this is. Clock Tower 3. So technically speaking, this is the third Clock Tower game released. Um, and, but, uh, sorry, this is technically the fourth Clock Tower uh, release, the Clock Tower game released, but it is um, the third game I that was released in uh, Western countries. So, so uh, or in, uh, yeah, in Western countries. So the first one was obviously the NES version. Clock Tower, which uh, we played, I believe it was on day three or four. Uh, then Clock Tower for the PS2, PS1, sorry, PS1. And uh, we played that one, I think it was day 10, and we played it in German. Um, but more on that in a minute. Um, and lastly, uh, this one. Now, there was a, a sequel to the first PS1 game released in uh, Japan and the US called um, The Struggle Within or something like that. It is technically not a Clock Tower game. Um, it, it, it's Clock Tower, but it's more of a side story. In Japan, it's just called Demon Head, so it's a, it's a little bit different. Um, so anyway, so this was released um, in 2003 by... Um, so this was released in 2003 by Capcom, and it was developed by um, Capcom and Sunsoft. Uh, basically, Capcom bought the license, um, and they thought, oh, yeah, let's do this with it or whatever. Now, the thing is, um, it's very, this one's very, very different to the other, um, the other um, Clock Tower games. This one has a proper, like, it feels like a proper survival horror game, as opposed to, like, an adventure game mixed with uh, survival horror. Um, it's not like the other ones where it's about like one serial killer constantly chasing you. This is, uh, it's weird, you'll see. Personally, I don't think it's that great, but it's interesting. It actually has very little to do with the, um, the other games too. Very little. Dearest Alyssa, how have you been? I think of you every day. It seems such a long time since we started your life at BBC. It was after your beloved grandfather went missing while traveling three years ago that I sent you away to BBC and told you not to come back for at least six years without giving you any explanation. It must have been very painful for you at the time, but it was for your 
and reflection. Now, I'm thinking that Bertram is approaching, and I fear your life may be in danger more than ever before. Please, go into hiding until your boyfriend Bertram has passed. I know that what I am saying will make no sense to you, but please, do as I tell you and hide as quickly as you can. Your loving mother, Nancy. Mum. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's your mother. Hello, Mum? Hello? Are you there? Anyway, um, so um, like I said, this really has nothing to do with the original Mom? clock tower. So uh, there's no, well, there's kind of a scissor man, but not really. Uh, but the scissor man we all know and fear, that's not here. Um, uh, what's her name? Um, Jennifer is not here. Um, they don't really talk about Barton House or Barton Clock Tower Mansion. Um, yeah, they don't even, even reference the murders, so yeah. Oh, excuse me, are you one of the lodgers? Yes, I am. Oh, I'm Alyssa, Nancy's daughter. Um, do you know where my mother is? Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back. At all. So it's just you. You are all alone in this world now, little girl. <laughs> My what a creep. Alyssa. I've been waiting so long for this moment. Get away from me! <laughs> <laughs> what a freaking creep. Um, so this is how the game works. I see at the top, that's your panic meter. So every time you panic or you freak out, that meter fills. There's no health in the game, it just basically goes off that uh, meter. So what happens is that if you panic, you freak out, and if you're in a hiding hiding spot, you jump out, and you just have to run, and you get tired, and so on. It's not a bad system, but it kind of, it, 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 it's hard to know when you're actually going to die or not. Um, so like I said, there's no traditional health system. Uh, it's just that panic meter. Second, the game kind of, uh, it, it, it actually, thankfully, it goes, uh, it does away with um <coughs> yeah it does away with um does away with the can controls but yeah what can you do that does, a, a good make does it not make <laughs> So there's a, a couple of things that you can take to kind of calm yourself down. <coughs> One being like uh, rose water, I think. So you can use rose water to calm you down. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's how you hide. <coughs> So this game introduces a lot of like magic and stuff, which is retarded. Um, <coughs> it just it, it got rid of the cool. Mm. Oh right, so it got rid of the, just the cool realistic feel of the like the slasher film, 
feel of it and went for like a supernatural feel. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, on another note, I'm actually really happy right now because I picked up something for the PS1. Now I picked up this thing, it's called the Super Game Converter. Basically what it is, is like a little thing that plugs into the back of the PS1. So long as the PS1 is a, um, is a, one of the old ones that has the parallel port, right? So long as it's one of them, the, the unit plugs into the back of the PS1 and it allows uh, me to play region free games. It allows me to play any game that I want. So <coughs> so I can play um I can play a whole bunch of things. I can play um Japanese games. I can play um uh what's it called um Japanese games, I can play US games, I can play any country I want, uh, and I can also play unofficial games. So I'll let you fill in the blanks as to what that means. Um, <coughs> like, you know what that means. That being said, I will continue to purchase all my games um, because I think you, any person watching this, deserves to be watching a real. <coughs> Pardon me, a real uh, game, not some dodgy obtained version, right? Okay, so the lavender water, that's good. That calms you down. But I'm, I'm fine for now. Pardon me. I think you get unlimited saves too. Now this was technically the, the last clock tower game ever made. Um, <coughs> there was a, a spiritual successor, but we'll hit that one up tomorrow. But more on that at the end. <coughs> Pardon me. Notice how smooth the controls are and how, how smooth the camera changes are as opposed to like um, uh, Alone in the Dark. Now keep in mind, it has been a while since I've played this game.
And I don't think I ever finished it, to be honest. I think I got past the, the, la the first boss, but I haven't actually gotten past uh, the other one. Because <coughs> there's four acts, right? Four scenarios. And I got past the first one, I think. I think I did. At the very least, I got to, uh, to the boss. That's the creeper. Those fire effects look kind of cheap, don't they? Oh boy. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. <coughs> oh, 
front of me. There we go. <clears throat> Digital stone. I forget what that does. Ah, crap. Uh, one second. Ah, bloody hell. Telemarketers. Telemarketers. I freaking hate them. Anyway, so I had to go outside and answer the phone. <coughs> anyway, it was a telemarketer. Uh, they said they were from NRMA. Yeah, right. I don't care. I'm uh, sorry, I keep, I've got something in my throat, I swear. Uh. Get off.
All right, before I open that gate, <coughs> I might go save because I'm pretty sure that's when the big guy comes out. <sighs> All right. I don't think I can run any faster. I can certainly walk. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, sorry, you're gonna have to put up with me clearing my throat. So anyway, <coughs> as I was saying, I got uh, that little thing in the mail, the, the thing for the PS1 to play uh, region region free games. The other thing, the other two things I got were also, they're also really cool, but not probably not as exciting. <coughs> so the first is um, I got uh, a copy of F Zero for the for the Super Nintendo, which my brother-in-law wants, and I'll probably do a stream with him one of these days. If he can ever be stuffed coming over. Um, and the other one is um, Final Fantasy VII. Um, like a real copy. Which means uh, as opposed to like the digital copy. Because at, at the moment, <coughs> at the moment I've got the digital copy like that I bought on PSN. But that means I would have to bring in the PS3 and it just it would be a mad pain in the, in the butt. So um, what I'm doing is I, I, I just bought like a, a real one and we'll play that. And I'll probably do that with... Steve Ben, who is a huge fan of it, and uh, I'll probably just uh, let him play because he, he's really, really good at it. So yeah, the two, like I said, the big purchase came in, which was that little adapter, which wasn't even that expensive. But it, you know, it's still cool to have. I have gone a bit nuts on eBay. Um. Alright, there's a hiding spot, that's good. We'll probably come back to that one. I think this is when it shows up.
Crap.
right, so that's it. I've used that chair. Now I can't use that chair again. That chair is finished. So what I have to do now, what I might do actually is I might go go back to the start, refill my, my holy water, re uh like I'm gonna save again just in case. right now that's just perfect um, <sighs> and that's the thing, man. It's just relentless. Like, give me a break, man. Draining, man. It really takes it out of you, man.
Bull crap. Bunch of crap. Down the street or what? By the way, um, you had to get that, that invitation to go in, otherwise it wouldn't let you in. I should have really explained <laughs> this as I'm going, but whatever, man. So I'll save it, and that that'll do for now. Um, just because uh, I, this game's pretty tense, I don't like playing for too long. Uh, so anyway, that's Clock Tower Three. Um, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, just a little taste of it uh, to see what it's like. Um, as with as with every other stream, this stream was made to raise awareness for multiple sclerosis. Uh, for more information on multiple sclerosis, please visit MS Australia. Uh, org.au uh, and if you like that's how you can help them out um, you can help me out by just spreading the word of these broadcasts uh, of these uh, streams and these videos um, they are monetized uh, my plan is obviously to get a little bit of money from it and then donate what I get to MS Australia so you don't have to directly give me money don't give me money not that you would anyway but don't give me money just uh, you know, subscribe and click on that every now and then. That's it. Um, anyway, until then, uh, until next time, uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll be playing the spiritual successor of this game. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll see you then. So I'm Hyena73. See ya.